what's really exciting about our system is over the years we've all heard about our aging population and we've experienced in hospital lots and lots of growth in our A&E departments and also in sick people needing to come into hospital and staying for longer. So for the first time in years what we're seeing is A&E attendances are flat and we're actually reducing the number of people who need to come into our hospitals. We're therefore succeeding in keeping more people out in the community for longer and that's a really exciting trend. We just hope we can keep it up. We're trying to integrate services around all of our residents so that when they need something, they get it in the place that they most want it, quite often their home or their local community. And we're trying to keep people out of hospital when that is the best thing for them. And we only have them in hospital when that's the most appropriate thing. Get them out again as quickly as possible and make sure that people can live longer in their own homes and be healthier while they're doing that. What we want to do in the future is work much more closely together so services are delivered around the patient's needs or the person's needs. And that's really what the partnership is saying that they're going to deliver across all services and across all organisations. I mean, we have a long, long history of, of excellent working relationships between commissioners and providers, and that's why the Frimley system has been so strong over the years. Um, we're moving that to the next level because we're going to be sharing, really, the financial understanding of all of our organisations so that the Frimley Pound is able to provide all of the service that we need for our population and that includes working strongly with our local authority colleagues regarding social care as well as health and really intertwining the two together so they get delivered almost as one. I think all of us across the system realise that to be sustainable things have to change and there's a real excitement across the system at the minute about how we can do that together, how we can change things together to make it work better in the future. My GP colleagues are saying how much better it is now in general practice, how they were thinking of retiring and they have decided that they're actually going to postpone their plans. Um, we're, we're getting that real sense of well-being back into primary care which is you know, hugely powerful. We want to listen to what the public wanted. We've got professionals from mental health, social services, uh, community services all working together and we found some real benefits for the population that we serve but also for the people that work in those services. They're really glad that they work in a service where it's, it's joined up and coordinated. It makes their working lives better. Lots of the benefits are about working together, taking shared ownership, taking shared risks, so making sure the most appropriate person goes out to see that person um, in a timely way. You have multi-skills, have lots of different practitioners, so when a patient makes a one-stop to a GP practice, they can have everything they need. We have to be prepared to allocate resources away from expensive health and social care into prevention and into our communities. It's not doing enough and within our system we have the permission to reallocate resource to where it will do the greatest good for our residents. Patients are treated as, as an individual, not as a bit to do with diabetes here and something else to do with your physical activity somewhere else, getting nutrition, diet, diet expertise somewhere else. So it's a, it's a wonderful way of partnership working which plays on the strengths of the different players in that partnership. We've got lots of organisations working together across health and social care to improve quality and sustainability, bringing different experiences, make it easier to work with different care homes, different care and support settings. We know that most of the health and care to our population is delivered by people who work in the independent sector, who work for domiciliary care agencies and, to work, and work in care homes. And actually one of the things we really want to do is raise awareness of the brilliant careers in that sector. We can move from a place where we've had pockets of really exciting new models of care that work, that people know and recognise in their community, so that you get the same offer and the same really good health and social care across the whole patch.